we're back with more Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. This is part 5. Let me tell you, in comparison to other episodes, I'm in a really good mood now. Just finished watching some hockey, and the Jets just hit the 100 point mark. There's no question, they're in the playoffs. But enough about hockey, let's get back to the game. In this episode, we're making our way to the 5th and final mansion, La Ruba. But along the way, we're going to get an upgrade for the Morning Star. First things first, hop across the platforms. Just remember, don't jump when the platforms are sinking or else you might screw yourself. I did there, and... Eh. It was of no consequence. Now I just gotta break this open. There we go. Now what you do, is you talk to this guy. If you don't have the Morning Star, he won't do anything for you. So, let's burn away some evil. Check it out. We now have the Flame Whip. 16 times more power than the regular whip, and most enemies can't even withstand a single shot of this thing. But then again, whether it's powerful or not, it doesn't matter. My credo is, if it moves, it dies. Case in point. Alright, let's put the rib back on because I can use the shield power. Oh look, a new enemy. Floating skulls. A reskin of the eyeballs. Not that they're of any consequence. After all, these enemies are nothing but a bunch of boneheads. And yes, pun very much intended. And I saw you sneak it up on me. You can't fool me. Alright. Not too much further now. A couple more screens and some new enemies, and yeah. Crap! Took a hit there. Fuck off! Gotcha. Ooh, generous drop. But yeah, you think about it, the irony is that I'm using a fire whip to kill a fire enemy. What sense does that make? Ah, then again, it's a video game. It's not supposed to make sense. It's supposed to be fun. Alright. Even though I took a couple of hits, I'm still in pretty good shape. And when is the lineup of enemies going to end? <laughs> They're coming in both directions. I'll gladly take those. But before we go, time to switch to the laurels, because coming up is a long stretch of poison water. Three or more is what you need. And look at that. The mud men are really shooting fast. But then again, it's of no consequence. Even if I wasn't protected by the laurels, my shield would deflect the fireballs. Alright, there we go. And welcome to La Ruba Mansion. I really don't know what else to say. It's the last mansion, it's the same stuff. Skeleton warriors, armor, and an orb to smash. Oh yes, and a boss. I don't know how to describe this boss, so I'm just gonna call it the Weeping Mask. And if it attacks, you'll know exactly why I call it that. And it looks like we've got some company couple of armors. But then again, their ass is grass, and I'm a lawnmower. At the same time, I'm not overly concerned about getting hearts because, at my present level, there's no way I can lose against the final boss, or even the one that's coming up. Come on. Come on. Smack that ass. And you're next. Come on. Up yours. Aw, oh, don't run away. Play a little. Aw oh, man, the slowdown really sucks tonight. But then again, I've seen worse. Who's next? Come here. Thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, we still have to buy the oak steak, so let's do that real quick. Get you out of my sights first, because... For some reason, and I don't know why, that one skeleton actually has a nasty habit of throwing up to the stairs. It's really astounding how much reach he's got. But then again, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, which is why I took him out with the trash. Okay, I'll you. Almost didn't make that one. Good thing I did. And there's the steak salesman. My last purchase, and it will be worth it. All right, let's go back down because if we go down to the bottom left section of this room, we'll find another old man, and he will actually give us a free full stock of laurels. Yeah, so it'll come in handy to get past that poison swamp. Just over here. Ah, great spiders too. Unfreaking believable. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, come on! Guess it's a good thing it only took off one bit of damage. Okay. So I guess we're in pretty good shape. Spiders can't hit me. And just beyond this upcoming door is where the boss is. If you have the gold knife, this boss is a joke. Just watch. And have the shield equipped just in case it starts to cry. Oh, look at that. It's crying like a little bitch. 
Why don't you go to McDonald's and get yourself a Wab Burger and some French fries? Maybe wash it down with a wine again. You're pathetic. Go and cry to your mama. What we just picked up is the Magic Cross. Believe it or not, even if you have all five of Dracula's body parts, you still need that thing in order to get into the castle. But first things first, it's smashing time! There we go, the last body part. Well, it's not exactly a body part, it's Dracula's ring. The most important one because, in order to gain access to the castle, you need the ring. But anyway, I'm gonna call it a video here. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, it's the grand finale. We make our way to the ruins of Castlevania to break the curse once and for all. Until then, my name is JP, and you've been watching Channel 84 Winnipeg. And as always, see you on the other side.